And now what I'll be doing is I'll be preparing and creating distances between my points and my attracted point. Maybe I can plug them right this way. And if I grab a panel here, what I'll be seeing is basically some values. So we can round these values. Okay. And what I want to do is to like to revisit what we've done in the previous playlist. Let's put all these distances on the points that we are having. So if I put this like preview off, and maybe if I preview these points in a bit better way, preview them off, color maybe we can say, um, I don't know what we can say is, we can say, we can create a swatch here say this time black size is two hundred like hundred because we want to differentiate the distance between maybe it's too small differentiate the size between our tractor and the random point right so if we are also group this just to make sure group this okay and what we see is some value. So if I grab a panel now, I probably get rid of all the decimals, which might be a good thing. But let's put all this information underneath all these points. So how I can create that? What I will be doing is I'll grab a tag 3D, as you remember. And tag 3D is going to be put on to this locations. I mean, obviously X, Y, but this time it directly takes these points as an input for the X, Y planes. So I can put this distances as my text and the size, like, let's say 150 and see how it's, how big it is. So it's not that big. Uh, but what one thing we can do is we can maybe put a concatenate and this might be our first thing could be D and we put a enter and then we put this guy here this guy here and give them some space give them some space give them some space as well so what we are doing here is basically putting this, this text in and if you put a point that might be helpful or what we can say you know distance and if we justification use justification top center maybe we know each point's distance but that's too much to have so why don't we have something as such to have a bit better idea and Top center, maybe top left, maybe no. Top center looks fine, but our points are a bit large, so maybe we can, yeah, have them as such. And or if you don't want this, just you can just put the text here. Okay, it's completely up to you. We can put a swatch, and maybe we can just write these values in. Well, like really red you know so what this does is basically as you see when i move my point on and off you see it's basically changing the direct changing the values so uh that is that's pretty much it for this video and we created this guy over here with a dynamic kind of motion for the other points and in the next videos, I'll be talking about how we can create geometries or visualize geometries by using all the things we learned up to now in this playlist. So I'll see you in the next one.